Okay, so I thought I'd do one more tutorial teaching you guys how to do title cards if you want to put like font or uh, like a title over someone's face or something like that. Um, so you go up to here, title, new title, default still, and then you name it whatever you want. So let's just name it Steven. And then this box will come up. So it'll have your type tool selected. And then you just click on the screen, and then let's just write Nguyen, or his his name, his uh his artist name, and uh, so right now you can't really see it because there's the color is kind of blended in with the background. So you can change the color here, fill type, right? Color fill type, and let's just let's just make it red, right? So now your font's red. You can change the font up here. And you have all these options, right? Uh, let's go with that one. And then you can change the font size over here in the properties, right? So I'm click, hold, drag again, right? Or you can put in a value, right? Um, you can manually, so if you want to change the position of it, you have select your selection tool, make sure you're on the selection tool, and then click, hold, and drag it where you want. So let's just put it right under him. You can also do it uh, with the values over here, right? Click, hold, drag. Click, hold, drag, right? Um, and then let's say it's blending in with the background. Let's, let's just pretend that you can't really see. Um, oh, whoops. Let's say you want to have like an outline or something like that, right? Just because it might be too blended in with the background. So you're going to add an outer stroke. So add outer stroke. And it's probably, I guess it's default outer stroke is on black. So you see how there's a little black outline. So you can change the color if you want. You can make it white. Um, you can change the size of the outline, right? So I'm click, hold, to drag again, right? Or put in a value. I'm probably saying that a lot because that's a lot of here right um, the other option is you just choose one of these presets um, and they have all these presets here if you want to just make it easy for yourself and just scroll through these right um, but I actually like what I had there let's go back let's just have that there and then change this to black uh, yeah, whatever, that's fine. So you're going to exit that, and then right now it's not going to be on your timeline or anything. Basically, you just made a title card, and then it's its its own file. So you're going to go over to Project, the name of your project. It's not in Media Browser. It's not in anything else. It's in Project, and then the name of the, the uh, project that you're working on, and it'll be right here. It's somewhere in this area, right, in, in these files. So again, that's in the project. Make sure you know where that is. Then you're gonna click, hold, drag. So it's just like any clip, and it'll just be, it'll come on as whatever size it feels like. And you're gonna have to manip manipulate that yourself. So again, I'm putting it on top, right? Because it's the layers thing. So let's say I want it over this clip. So I'm gonna put it on this clip, line it up, and then I'm gonna click, hold, drag, right, with that red tool that I showed you guys in the last one. So over this clip there'll be a title, right? So right. So during this clip, it'll have uh, the title card, right? So this is its own clip. It's kind of like a JPEG. It's kind of like a thing for itself. It has the same attributes as any other clip. So if you go up, if you select the clip, you also have these options again, right? So again, if I wanted to make it slide in, you'd start with the keyframes again. <laughs> So I'd move it off the screen first, right? Because I want to start it off the screen. Make a keyframe. And then I'm going to move it over. And then change the value, right? Slide it back in. So between these two points of time, it's going to be moving. Right? And then, and then I'm going to let it hang out there for a while. Make another keyframe where these values don't change, right? These between these two points of time, the values are the same. 
then I'm going to let slide back out, right? Slide out the other way. So move the playhead forward a bit. And then I'm going to change the position again. So we'll slide it out that way. So if we play that, that's a little laggy, but that's, that's basically how it works, right? So it's a little bit of a review. So play it again. <laughs> All right. well, I'm All right. to do that. So that's what happens. Let's say I want to hang out a little longer. We'll just make these, make the time between these two a little longer, right? So it's going to hang out a little bit longer. All right. Okay. Um, Can we play bigger? Yeah. Um. Let's see how much time. Six minutes. Um. I think that was pretty much all I wanted to go over with titles. Again, all, so like all I'm saying is that this, when you make a title, it has all the same attributes. You can do the same things that you could do when I showed you the keyframes. Um, and just remember that your titles, when you make them, um, let's do that one more time very quickly. The new title, default still, name it whatever you want. Kurt DC, make my own type tool, Kurt DC. Use a preset real quick, just so it's easier. Make it a little bigger, right? Put it right there, and then again, it'll show up in your project, right? And then, if I want to have multiple, you just put it on top, right? And then you have two, right? Um, and again, make sure it's on top of your clip, right? So what what will happen if you don't have it on top and you have this one on top is, again, the layers won't work like that. So you'll only see what's on the top. So right now, these title cards are are sitting under the uh, our video here. So you want these title cards on top of your video, right? Um, yeah, I think that's good for this tutorial. Titles are probably something that you guys want to use a lot just for fun, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess I could show you guys how I do subtitles and stuff like that sometimes, but it's actually a lot of work. So I will probably save that for another one. But, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.